Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach Sopak, and today we are talking about the color grading function inside of Adobe Lightroom, specifically Lightroom Mobile today. It's a really cool way to put a signature on your photo editing, so let's get into it. Before we jump into the color grading tool, I do want to mention that I have a playlist for Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile specifically that I'm going to link up here and down below if you want to learn the ins and outs of this app, how to master it, and how to start editing photos better. I've also got links down below to all the gear and things that I use to make these videos happen, as well as my own Lightroom presets and a free Lightroom preset if you're interested. You just check it out in the links down below. The color grading tool inside of Adobe Lightroom is a really great way to give a signature look to your photo editing. Before I show you specifically how to use this tool, I wanna to explain quickly what color grading is. Color grading is a process that is typically found inside of video editing. It's typically done after the process of color correction. Color correction is when you would go into your image, you would make sure that your shadows, your midtones, your highlights are all at a proper exposure level that you want. And you would also make sure that your white balance is set properly to make things cohesive and that your saturation is at a good level. So think of color correction as just getting things to a good starting point. And then once that's done, you move into the color gray process. This is really where you start to make that signature edit look. Color grading allows you to go into those values like your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights, and it allows you to add certain hue, saturation, and luminance values to specific colors in those areas. So now that we know what color grading is, let's go inside of Lightroom Mobile and I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome tool. So I've already got my photo here inside of Lightroom Mobile. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go through and color correct this image. I'm gonna mess with the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, all of that, get it to a good starting point before I do the color grading. And if you wanna learn more about how these sliders work specifically with each other, I'd really encourage you to check out my Lightroom basic video. It really helps to explain every single slider and how to get a good edit going. Okay, so now we have our color corrected image. I wanna just give you a reference of the before and after to see how far we've come already. So here is the before and here is the after. Pretty good, but now we're gonna really put a signature look on it with the color grading tool. So in order to get to the color grading tool, you go over to the bottom row on Lightroom Mobile, go to your color tab, and then you wanna click grading, which is the one with the three circles on it. So now that we clicked on the color grading tool, I wanna to explain exactly what you're looking at here. So on the top, we have all these different dots. From left to right, we have shadows. The middle one is our midtones. Then we have highlights. And then this last one here with the three colors in the same circle is our global slider. So while you're editing your photos, you can go specifically to the shadows, mess around with this color wheel or these sliders to get the right hue, saturation, and luminance values for the shadows. Then you can do it specifically for your midtones. Same thing for your highlights. And then if you wanna just do one broad color shift, you can do that with the global section. So now that we know all of that, I'm gonna go in here and I wanna do more of a traditional sort of teal and orange, blue and orange kind of look for this. So I'm going to be adding in cooler blues into the shadows and into the highlights. And then I'm going to do orange to the midtones where the skin complexion typically lies. So I'm gonna to go to the shadows and you can either drag this around, you can instantly see in the shadow areas how this is affecting the image. When you're moving this from the center out, you're not only changing the color, but as you get it closer to the edge of the circle, you're increasing your saturation. So I can bring this over to the teal side here, and it's very saturated, but when I let go, I can see exactly where it lies. And if I wanna do more fine tune adjustments, that's where these little sliders on the bottom come into place. So I can shift the hue a little bit more to get it more exact. If I feel that the saturation is too much, but I like where the hue is, I can just take that saturation slider and I can bring it up or down 
and add that effect to it. You can also adjust the luminance value so you can make the shadow area either darker or brighter with that luminance slider. So I think with these settings, I've got the shadows in a good place. I'm gonna move over to the mid-tones and this is where I'm gonna be adding in more warmth, more of those orange tones, which is going to affect the skin. So going over towards the orange and adding a bit more saturation there. Go through here, see how far we can take it before it gets too crazy. Somewhere about there. And the luminance, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Now that we have our mid-tones in a good spot, let's go to our highlights. Now for a traditional teal and orange look, you can either do warm tones in the highlights or cooler tones. I'm gonna do cooler tones in this one and see how it looks. Bring this over and do a little less saturation. And since these are highlights, I'm going to raise them up so that way they're bright. So here is where our photo currently stands. Again, as a reference before we did any editing, here's the before, very gray, very bland, very basic. And here is the after, much more saturated, gives you those teal and orange vibes. And it's looking good so far, but we're not done yet. Inside of the color grading tool, we also have these two sliders down here, which are blending and balance. Now these two sliders affect the global adjustment of the color grading. So it affects all areas, your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. The blending slider does what the name suggests. It blends between your shadows, midtones, and highlights. So if you have it all the way to the left, as a very stark difference between each value. If you have it all the way to the right, it kind of just mushes everything together with not as much transition. So with this photo in particular, I actually think I'm going to reduce a little bit of the blending, get a little bit more stark difference. So I'm gonna drop it down to 35. And then the balance slider allows you to kind of accentuate one of the areas more than the other. So right now it's at zero, so everything's kind of at an even level between your shadows, midtones, and highlights. But if you move it towards the left, you're gonna go more heavy towards your shadow value. So our shadows are cool. So that's why the image is now looking cool. And if we move it towards the middle, everything's even, normal, more midtones. And then you move it towards the right, everything again is more blue and cool because that's how we have our highlights. But I like the balance that we already had in the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this to zero and we're gonna keep it right there. And then finally, we have our global section. This will control the entire image. So if I feel that I want the entire image to be warmer, then I can just click on the center there. I can move it towards the orange and it's bringing in more warm tones. If I wanted it to be cooler, likewise, I could bring it towards the blues and now we have a cooler image there. So for this image, I actually did go in and add a little bit more warmth, kind of like leaning towards the oranges, just a little bit of saturation and a little bit of luminance. Once you finished all of your color grading edits, go ahead and click done. And now you can look at your image, revel in its beauty and how it looks now. Let's go ahead and just as a reference, check out our before image. Again, unbelievable, just super gray, very flat, no contrast, very little saturation. And then with our color correction and color grading, bam, this is our final image. Pretty amazing, all the different stuff that you can do with this color grading tool. This teal and orange look is just an example of one look that you could get with color grading, but you can do so many different things and it really allows you to create your very own signature style when you're editing inside of Adobe Lightroom. So there you go, that's everything that you need to know about color grading inside of Adobe Lightroom. I hope that you got value out of this video. If you did, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss out anytime I post a new video. If you're interested in Lightroom presets, I got my very own presets, including a free one that you can download at no charge to you. And also I'm curious to know, what are some other things you want to learn inside of Lightroom? Why don't you go ahead and comment it down below and I'll check it out and hopefully make a new video on it in the future. Well, hey, until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.